I'm Vernon Kay, and I'm one hell of a lucky man. Why? Because the DS Virgin Racing Team and their star driver, Sam Bird, have agreed to let me drive one of their stunning all-electric Formula E cars. Are they bonkers? They are beautiful cars, aren't they? God forbid, Sam, we sign the contract and it's bend it, you mend it. I would imagine they're priceless, right? It'd be seven figures, so yeah. That's a lot of Family Fortunes interactive <laughs> DVDs, that sounds That's a lot, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, I'm just a tad taller than Sam Bird, so the first task for the team oh is to make sure I fit into the car. I'm a bit cramped. Tight on your knees, though. No, it's fine on my knees, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how excited I am. The steering wheel looks like Xbox and beyond. <gasps> I thought they just met. <laughs> Before the team will let me drive, Sam needs to show me the racing lines. To a pro like Sam, hurling a car around a track at breakneck speed is perfectly normal. But I'm not quite as calm as him. You never guess, though. <laughs> now it's my turn. I've done a few track days in the past, but I've never had one-on-one -on -one coaching like this from one of the UK's top racing drivers. Turn in straight line brake. If you break in a straight line, your braking is more effective. Too early. You see there, you turned in with a load of speed. You see how you've had to scrub on the exit. Yeah, yeah. Still alive. Cheers, Sam. Put on a bit of weight since I was measured for it. The Virgin team uh, giving me a co-pilot, and it's the wife. So the missus is going to come round the track with me. That's nice, isn't it? Just got to make sure I don't bin it now. I am ready. Bit nervous now. OK, Vernon, radio check. Radio check. Yep, perfect, thank you. My heart is pounding, and I can barely breathe. OK, then you have to win you on. me! The first thing you notice is the acceleration, and the instant torque of the electric motor pushes me back into the seat. <laughs> Although the car is on its lowest power setting, it takes my breath away. But I'm approaching a tricky hairpin at the far end of the track. I hit the brakes, get on the power too soon, and lose control. Come on! Right. These cars aren't easy to drive. We're at a cold track with cold brakes. It's his first time in a racing car. It's only natural that you would have a half spin or a spin, to be honest. I'll be honest with you, it's very similar to when I used to drive a forklift truck in a banana ripening factory in Bolton. Left foot brake, right foot accelerator, and apparently I'm crossing over. I'm braking and then accelerating without coming off the brake. <laughs> Despite the spin and a few more laps under my belt, I start to get into a rhythm. My confidence is growing. Improved by a second, that lap. Oh, little lock up, that's fine. Every lap he does, he's gaining more experience. It's just going to get quicker and quicker and quicker. How was it? <laughs> you look good out there. Unbelievable! <laughs> oh, wow. It's You've got the best job in the world. It's not bad, is it? Man. Woo! That was a different level. Brilliant. What a day! No, how do I get out of this thing? It was a spectacular day. It's impressed me how quick they are, but once you get the technique right, you can't half chuck it around, and that's where the fun lies. It's a beast. But I conquered the beast, and I was successful! Yeah! <laughs>